Hello, my Cancers. Happy New Year. Welcome to January 2020. All right, in honor of this, I am doing universe messages for all of the signs. So this is obviously a general reading. Take what resonates. If it doesn't, or if you have a personal question about yourself, you can book a reading with me. Link to my website, or description box below. Okay? Ooh, heavy energy that we're coming in for Cancer. Um, mm, all right, so you have somebody here. Now, you could envy someone, but I feel like someone envies you. Okay, this is most likely another woman, regardless of whether or not you are a woman. But there's definitely a female figure um, that is pretty bitter over you. This may sound strange, but I feel like they have a large nose. I don't know what other reading I got this in, but I was focusing on the nose in another reading recently. In one of these videos, turn it, I can't remember. Um, I suppose this could be a male as well, but the large nose is relevant. <laughs> but they're very envious of you, whether or not you know, you know it. Um, I'm sensing they're envious of your feminine ways or something about the way you carry yourself. Someone here wears a lot of dark colors. Um... Now, there's something going on here in regards to, you've put a lot of work into something. I feel like you've been waiting for um, the approval of someone or, you know, to finally reach the finish line, that destination or goal or whatever it is that you've been looking for. Um, but whoever it is you've been seeking this from and putting energy into, it's like they're looking the other way here. The words arrogant, I feel like they don't even care. <laughs> I mean, they do, but they really don't, you know? They're very split on that. This could break your heart, actually, because I feel like you may... There's There might be something that they do that you're watching them and they're kind of like, I'm seeing somebody say something specifically. This won't resonate for everybody, but I'm seeing somebody say something and to you, Cancer. And they're, it's something that hurts you deeply. And they're like looking in the mirror, kind of continuing to like focus on their clothes or themselves. So it's like, Whatever they said, they just dished it to you, and then they didn't even really... It was almost like they didn't care, like they didn't think it was a big deal. But I feel like you, on the other hand, I don't think you appreciated their statement. Or whatever it is, this demeanor. If it's not something... This, if it's not that specific scenario, it's something just like that. Like where that person is just still focusing on themselves after get saying something hurtful or doing something hurtful or making you feel like they don't care. I'm just not loving this energy or this individual right now. <laughs> How dare them fluff up your 2020 so early on. Don't worry, we'll make a comeback. Don't you worry. It's early enough to where we can, but still, you know. There, this is an energy carrying over from the previous year. And also, there's something, you know, you may not want to defend this anymore. I feel like you're constantly trying to fight for the top position with this person, but they don't care. They're looking the other way. And there's something you don't know. There's another energy involved. Most likely another um, female. Uh, I could say male, but I would say it feels more like a female energy in regards to whatever scenario this is that's causing distraction, causing disconnection. This person just feels very confident. They, they don't, they're not acting like they need you. They're acting like you're lucky to have them type of deal and I don't love it. But really it all boils down to envy. There's somebody here that is in, in actuality jealous of you. Um, 
So the Archangel that you got is the third shark chakra Archangel Chamuel. Okay, so he's very strong. He's like the base, you know, he gives you strength. And um, this is kind of sticking up for yourself. This is kind of setting your foundation and being solid in yourself. And I also feel like there could be a masculine energy that's waiting on you. And they want to offer you some sort of stable, something more stable, but they're kind of waiting. Also, I think that you may need to realize that something you've been stuck waiting on, you may not want to wait anymore. This may take some enlightenment and some alone time for you to reflect on this. Um, there's something you're attached to. Again, you're experiencing attachment here. But this individual has two faces. Now, this is very similar to another reading that I did, and I can't remember what it is. Um, and just they're, they're, they're into themselves. I, this energy has been kind of floating around in your reading for, for quite a while. Um, but I do feel like there's someone else distracting them as well. Um, now, I would like to say this. Whether in whatever regards that you need to hear this, if at any point your intuition feels as if somebody is doing something behind your back or sneaking or not telling the full truth about something, uh, you're right. They're not. Could be a Virgo or a Virgo could be involved in some sort of way. But there's just this inner knowing I'm getting here with the Hermit. And I think that this is your energy, even though um, it's not symbolic for Cancer necessarily. But I do think that you already know what you think is, you already know what it is. It's about like coming to terms and accepting it and being willing to let go of something that wasn't a wish fulfillment for you. Something that you that you're carrying into this new year, but it's 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 broken your heart, and if it hasn't, it's going to. At the bottom of the deck here, that with the ten of swords, somebody's going to miss this opportunity, and um, you may think it's you in the beginning, but I really don't feel like it will end up to be you. You may also take a moment, woman holding a heart. I think. This year is going to be very key about placing your heart in the right hands and deciding who deserves your heart. Because you can't give it to just anybody. And I think that there's going to be a, a lot of reflection and resting and healing that you're going to come out of um, in whatever scenario that's coming up for you that's brewing here early on in 2020. But ideally, what this will do in this moment, in this learning, you know, that you're going to go through is that you're going to come out of feeling left out in the cold because there is someone here, I see. And I think I've warned you about them before, Cancer, but you're, you're just so resistant to let this um, stinker, whoever this is, go. Or, you know, maybe it's not that you're resistant. Maybe they're hanging on to you. I don't know, you know. But there is somebody that wants to make an offer to you, and this is the King of Pentacles. Could be an Earth sign, Taurus, for Virgo, Capricorn. You may not have met them yet. You could meet them through work. Whoever this person is, um, this is, you know, they have a lot to offer. Are they the most romantic? Well, no, but they are solid in what they offer, and they mean what they say, and that is key. They could also be financially well off, or they just could be very balanced in their demeanor. Um, but it's going to take time for you to reflect and know your worth first before this individual will make the offer to you, or before you would even consider on accepting it, you know. Um, You will also blossom this year in anything creative. Um, the color purple could be relevant. Purple is symbolic for royalty as well. You could have a chance to to do something for somebody very high up as well. This could lead to a job offer. Um,
It would have something to do with beat or um, creative arts or colors, something along these lines. I'm getting a lot of mixed messages here. And this could be just symbolic for energy with them picking up the colors. But again, it's, um, I think you, you need to heal and preserve your heart here and that will give you the ability to focus more on career. I know that you want to have love, we all do, but I think that it's almost like focusing on the opposite thing to get what you want might be key here. It's all an illusion, you know? Trying to give your heart to somebody will backfire because they may not treat it the way that it deserves to be treated here, you know? There could be a group dynamic that comes to an end as well. It could be three people or more. There's something could change in regards to this. But again, all for the better, big changes, because I'm just sensing that you're coming into this new year with a little more attached energy than I think that you deserve to give this new year. You know, we're entering in a whole new decade. And um, people that don't want to give you the time of day or don't truly care about what you have to say, you know, that connection deserves to be destroyed because it is in that that they begin to learn their lesson. So something for you to think about. I would highly, highly recommend, recommend, I can't talk, sorry, recommend lots of sleep and rest um, and reflection about the past people and how they've made you feel and um, what types of things and offers that you want in the future because that's the way to manifest them. So yes, but all in all looking good, you will receive offers. This is all just kind of, you know, just kind of a phase, a wave that you're going through. So, okay. All right, my Cancers, I adore you always. Um, good luck to you. And I hope you find much enlightenment and just keep an eye out for what I've said, okay? All right, bye-bye.